Hello everyone, how are you today? So today's video is a DIY decor video and I've had this idea for a few months and I finally did it and I am in love. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make DIY no sew emoji pillows. Come on guys, emojis are so cool. Like I have emoji everything, I have emoji stickers, like everything. I have emojis on my phone, like actually on my phone case. Obviously I have them on my phone too, but. Uh, yeah, so I got this idea maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago, and I was like, I have to do this and I have to show all of my lovely subscribers how to do it also. So I went ahead and I did it this morning and I'm in love with how they came out. I show you how to make three different ones, but it basically will just show you the general gist of how you need to, or what you need and how to sort of put together an emoji pillow, and then you can pick whatever emoji you want and make it. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, so for this DIY, all you're going to need is some polyfill, some fabric, and a hot glue gun, and I'll leave exact measurements for how much fabric I used in the description. So you want to start out with your yellow fabric, and you want to make sure that it is doubled up, and most fabric comes that way, but if not, just make sure that it is doubled up so that you get the same size each time. Now you want to find something that you can use to create the circle shape for your emoji. Um, this plate was actually the exact right size for the size emoji that I wanted, so I just went ahead and used that, but just find something you can create your own template using construction paper also. Just that way you can get a good size and you have something really easy to trace out. So then what you're going to want to do is cut out your little circles for your emojis. This is pretty self-explanatory um, and you want to make sure that you keep them doubled up and they're actually together. And when you're done, you should have three emojis or however much you want. So you'll be able to tell that one side is a little fluffier than the other. So you want to make sure that you put the two fluffy sides together. That way the side that's going to be on the inside of the pillow is up. And then all you have to do is start hot gluing. So you just start going around the edges and hot gluing them together. But you want to make sure that you leave a little space open like right here. That way you can flip it inside out and have a place to put the stuffing in. So. I went ahead and repeated that step with all of the pillows. And once you're finished, you're going to go ahead and find the opening in all of your pillows and turn them inside out. You want to leave the opening big enough so that your hand can sort of fit in there um, because you're going to need to sort of flush it out and then you're also going to need to get your hand in there. That way you can fill it with the polyfill. So now I'm just taking that. You just take little chunks at a time and go ahead and push it into the pillow. I didn't want mine to be stuffed up too big because I still wanted it to be sort of flat. That way we could create the face, but that's totally up to you and sort of how you want to use your pillows. I suppose if you want to actually use it to sort of sleep on you might want it to be a little bit fluffier but mine's just for show and then all you have to do is use your hot glue gun and close up the little opening that we had there to put the polyfill in and then we are ready to start creating the face so you want to start off by taking your pillow and using a piece of chalk to trace just roughly how big the pillow is that way we can make the face the right size for the pillow and then you're going to just use a picture of whatever emoji face you want and go ahead and trace that on there. And the great part about this is you can sort of erase it and fix it however you want. Of course I had to do the smirky face because that's my favorite emoji. It's basically what my face looks like all the time. And so then you're just going to go ahead and cut out those little black pieces and you're ready to put your face together. So you want to just go ahead and stick it on there make sure it looks right. And if it does, then you can go in with your hot glue and hot glue it onto your pillow. And I'm definitely not an artist, so my faces don't look perfect, but as you can see, it still looks pretty good, and so it's really easy to do, and I wouldn't stress out too much about it. I also wanted to do the little winky face, because I thought that one would make a really cute pillow, and it did. I think this one or the next one are my favorite. I don't know, because I love the smirky face emoji. I don't know, I can't decide. You should let me know which one of my pillows is your favorite down below, because <laughs> I really can't decide. I think they all came out so cute. And the last one I did 
was one with little heart eyes and I thought this one was really cute. So this took a little bit of trial and error to figure out how to do the hearts, but I figured out the best way was to fold a piece of fabric in half and then go ahead and cut out the heart. So you basically make half a heart. I'm pretty sure all of us have done this with construction paper before. And once you have that, you can go ahead and take another scrap of paper and or of paper I mean of fabric and cut out the same exact shape because you want both your heart eyes to be the same size obviously and once you have that you're ready to go with this pillow And voila, that is our last pillow. And then we are finished with our emoji pillows. This is such an easy DIY and I think these are so cute. They just add like a little sort of fun modern thing. Um, they don't look very fancy, but I sort of like that. I like that they just look really fun and youthful and fresh. So I'm definitely keeping these on my couch, but I think they look so cute on a bed also in your bedroom. So also play around with which emoji pillows you make. And if you make them, don't forget to tweet them to me with the hashtag DIY with PXB. That way I can see all the cute little emoji pillows you made. Basically to make your own pillow all you have to do is follow the same general steps and make whatever face you want. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to tell me in the comment section which emoji is your favorite and which of my emoji pillows you like best. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! What is that song? Cause you're a something, 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 something. If you know that song, let me know. Cause I don't know.